communication is the lifeblood of every relationship we keep that any relationship that lacks communication dies a natural death i'm coming out here to share with you guys some conversation couples need to have to improve their marriage we are on the time or at the age or the stage their marriages are breaking at every single provocation divorce is the order of the day okay i don't think want to come out here and share with you guys some conversations couples should have to improve their marriage okay yeah my name is rosemary thank you for tuning in thank you for always coming back up i don't intend this video to be long so guys let's dive right into this video when couples ceases to have communication as often as they should their relationship or their marriage seems to be going down like seems to drain the okay so as a couple it is intended that you communicate at every point in your marriage because through communication you get to know your your partner your spouse need their expectation their want what is going on in their mind okay from the abundance of heart the mass is, is already speaking okay yeah through communication you get to know what is going on in their mind and if you are trying or maybe your marriage is at the verge of breaking it's a prayer that god should intervene okay couples can understand themselves better and improve on their shortcomings through communication if you're asking your spouse how are you just mean it and listen attentively okay to really know what is happening if he's saying fine go beyond that fine like fine i know but how are you how are you feeling how what is bothering you what are your concerns what are your expectations what are your needs okay these are the things that you need to be doing to constantly improve your marriage devil is not joking with marriage though. devil is not joking with marriage okay because you understand that when couples get it together together they can fight in bible said that one can chase thousand two will chase tens of thousands okay i hope i put that correctly but you know what i'm saying the devil is not sleeping when it comes to marriage if you're asking your spouse how are you how are you feeling pay attention to what he or she is saying don't just settle for single answer fine okay nice no go beyond that and pour out your heart i mean i, I so much believe that couples should not be too rigid with themselves we should be vulnerable vulnerable enough to pull out your mind pull out your 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 consign to your to your spouse okay share with me in the comment section if you are like me if you believe that the conversation sorry. that i feel couples should have to improve their marriage first and foremost is asking your spouse how he or she is doing how he or she is faring how you can love them better i know lots of people shy away from this this question like at least i've loved that enough now i provided a lot of things i bought a car i do this i do that no it goes beyond that little wonder you see married people even with their money with the happiness you feel that they have they are still cheating with kids man because the spouse is not willing to pay attention to their need it goes beyond providing physical things to them i'll be i will be making a video on what women actually want okay yeah if you're a guy watching this video look out for that video as well okay beyond the the material things that you provide for her just keep pressing keep pressing and keep pressing okay if you're asking how can i love you better be sure that when they provide you with that information you can work on it make an effort to love and improve your marriage life okay that conversation that you should have often as a couple is are you satisfied in the other room i wanted to say it the way it is bluntly but my mind just tell me that it's whitey i have to reframe my word okay Ask your spouse how satisfied he or she is in the other room okay it's a mathematic trick okay like are you satisfying her in that aspect let her tell you her desire let her tell you her her concern let her tell you her fears don't just look at it like oh when she said now you now use it against her because a lot of people they will go back to their shell simply because they open up and share what is bothering them with their spouse and the man just made it look as if they are the worst human being on earth so, i mean you guys have seen each other's nakedness okay i see no reason why people should be shying away doing whatever whatever you've seen the shape form and everything so when you're asking you'll be plain enough if you feel that oh he's not doing you well knowledge is transferable and i believe that he can learn okay and you as a wife if you're asking don't come from the place of comparison because we are often tempted to okay compare maybe you've tested that of your your, your boyfriend before your husband you start comparing no just answer sincerely okay and let him know how you want it to be done you two of you can join hands together and make your marriage work another conversation couple should have is are you happily married to me yes a lot of people they are not happily married to whoever they seems to be married to okay they're forced 
themselves to depression or maybe circumstances of life she got pregnant and all that and the family and everybody now said you must be this person are you happily married see your happiness matters okay if you are not happily married and you guys are not willing to okay sit down as mature adult and trash the the things out i'm not i'm not telling people to get divorce just ask that question to know where you stand okay if it's something you can amend please try and amend it okay ask that question are you happily married to me what are the things that i'm doing that you don't like a lot of men they feel that they know it all i'm the head of the house anything i do my wife will accept it no matter what mm -mm. even though you are going outside there to disgrace the whole family you're expecting your wife to accept that if you are a wife just ask your husband that question you should have the time that they will get to sit down together them alone and work towards improving their marriage okay you might be thinking that oh because you don't have time because you don't have time, you're taking care of your children and all that. Just give those children 20 years and they'll just be disappearing from the house. One more, not disappearing that they will just be dying, but they'll just be doing work in their own way, okay? How you start the morning of your life, determine how you spend the evening, okay? If you're that person that is always shying away from this certain discussion, I don't know when you're going to discuss it, okay? I so much believe that a lot of people are still young, newly married. If you're in this category, please ask that question sincerely. It could be once in a month, or it could be quarterly, or it could be anyhow you want to do it, maybe two times in a, a month or something. But just have a time that you and your husband sit down to discuss the things that are happening in your marriage, okay? Do you think I am spending the family finance very well? I know a lot of women now, they will be spending money, but their husband is not happy about it. And they are having resentment in their mind that at small provocation, they they will do transfer aggression because of maybe the anger they have bottled down in their mind okay yeah talk about finance discuss about bedmatic discuss about how to improve your marriage the aim is to make your marriage work and enjoyable okay you can't just be there and suffering dying in silence where you can easily sit down and try some things as, as mature adults okay things i feel that couple should discuss about guys let them know the challenge the concern you are facing in your business so i bet most of you that are watching me are probably god is good motto and you might not know that it's the wife that is handling that business that business because the husband is late assuming the man do not intimate that woman on what the business is all about how the business is being run we will not be hearing about god is good today okay carry your wife along let her know even if it's small even if it's like a little bit of what is happening in case of anything no she will not be taken on her way. People will not mess up with her. Just carry her along, okay? Am I respecting you enough? Am I being romantic enough? These are the conversations that you should have. Don't just say that you don't know what to be discussing. There are a thousand and thousand and one thing, okay? Do you like the way we are raising our children? Are there ways that we can make amendment? Do you like the way I'm relating with your family people? Are there ways we can make amendment? All these things are just working perfectly well to improve your marriage. It's not enough to just communicate, okay? I mean, the essence of communication is to be informed and carry out the necessary things that you're supposed to do so that you, you both will be on the same page. Listening to me now, what you do, what you do with the information you receive, what you do with the question and answer section that you guys had matters a lot, okay? If the woman is telling you that, oh, you are not being her way in the other room, don't just come and look at it that, mm, you want me to kill myself for you, Abby? I just, no, make amendment, make improvement, okay? Like, you guys should work hand in hand to better and improve your marriage, okay? So guys, what I'm just saying in essence is that it is not enough to just communicate and just sweep it under the carpet when you communicate you get the information then act on it the aim remember is to improve your marriage and make your marriage heaven on earth okay guys for your time thank you guys for always always coming back to listen and support me i remain your girl and don't forget to hit that like button i will see you guys in my next video bye guys